hi everyone uh, welcome to my youtube channel in today video we are going to discuss how to build cisco xr docker image on your local laptop so here like uh, before starting so i would like to uh, discuss uh, regarding the uh, container lab uh, container lab focus only on the container based deployment for the network elements uh, uh, routers OS but not all the routing protocols are shifted with the docker image and mostly with the VM based so for the higher end routers right so whenever you check the, all the uh, software images from the vendors they shipped with the VM not with the container so uh, to achieve the container based image so what container lab did is they use the VR net lab packages a regular VM inside the container and they use this container uh, image along with the other container uh, you know parts and they spin the uh, topology and they connect each other using the yaml script so let's quickly jump into it so there are prerequisites to do it and this we already discussed and i already uh, you know shared the videos how to install the basic uh, ubuntu docker container lab packages so if you want to check you can check my previous video so where i have explained everything clearly uh, so let's start with the installation step. Uh, let me go through the step, uh, you know, one by one. Okay, first you need to uh, install the VR NetLab package from Git using this particular command. Uh, in my lab, I have already uh, installed the Git and the VR NetLab package. So here you can see. So you can. You can see there is a folder called VR NetLab. So here I have all the vendor images, and this will this folders will help us to uh, make our own Docker image for each vendor. So today we are going to focus only on the XR. Next is uh, download the uh, image from the Cisco website for the XR. So I already downloaded and already copied that Cisco dot OVA image for iOS. Uh, for XR already uh, in my uh, Ubuntu. So let me show that to you guys. Here you can see I already have the image in my laptop, in my uh, local laptop already, and I uploaded to the Ubuntu, which is running on my VM. So I'm going to unzip it. I'm going to use the command to tap it. Yes, so we'll have uh, three images and out of the uh, three files, sorry, it's a three uh, file. So we use the VMDK, uh, this particular one to create our Docker image for the iOS XR. So next you can see, so once it is entered, then we can, we need to uh, copy the image to the path. We are at slash XRV. slash root because it is copied under slash root then xrv okay, first i need to copy okay. use copy or move anything is fine Okay, so let me go to this path. Okay, now I move the uh, image, the VMDK file to the uh, VNet lab folder under the XRV. So next is, uh, we need to use the make docker command to create the image. Before that, we need to uh, make the changes in the image name. Otherwise, when the script is running, so it will not detect this uh, name and it will give you the error. Let me show you what error it will display if you do that without changing the VMDK name, image name. So here you can see this. It is like it's not able to find that build. So it is rejecting the starting only. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, change the name from iOS XRV demo dot VMDK to the format that is already uh, quoted in the script. So for that, 
just simply check the file so that here they have mentioned the format so what is the name that we are supposed to change so this is the name so i am running uh, in my uh, version i am running currently 5.1.1 so i am going to use the same name ls l so i was so i'm going to use this command i was 5.1.1 so because my image is 5.1.1 so i use the same because this 5.1.1 will be used in the tag when we once we create the docker image so let me run the command again make docker iphone image yes uh, it might take a few minutes uh, depends uh, on the processor so it's it's then the three steps are done one two three so so it's basically uh, you know create all the uh, internal uh, bridging between the uh, uh, you know routing processor and the card so everything is be done in the uh, using the script <coughs> when it is running so let me quickly show you this so here you can see basically normally so uh, here it's a vm and you have a container so if it is a normal vm so it's very it's not easy to uh, you know uh, create a topology using the one is vm image and another is container so that's why we use this vrnet lab uh, feature packages to create a container we created a container and inside the container the vm will be there so that's how we connect the container to container so as per the ubuntu it's all container only but inside this container the vm will be running so let's take a few more few more seconds so guess like you just have to you don't have to uh, you know do anything like magic it, the script is already predefined you just have to you know execute the commands properly and make the changes of the file names according to the uh, the already predefined values in the script then everything will go smooth we just have to wait for a few more minutes uh, once it is done then our image will be there then we can run the topology and check the routers so here you can see this is the uh, one next part is the lab topology so i'm gonna use the lab this is the lab topology i'm going once my docker image is created in my previous video i also created the uh, sr linux nokia sr linux which is free so anyone can pull it from the git uh, so that video is already there i will give it the video in the description also in case if you want to guys want to check you can check it out so i'm gonna create uh, two routers one is sr linux and second one is uh, cisco xrv so I'm gonna connect using this Ethernet 1 slash 1 to the gig 0 slash 0 slash 0. I'm also using the uh, predefined configuration because I don't have to create a physical interface configuration here. I have the script, the configuration line is already there. So I'm gonna use that in the YAML file and gonna spin the lab. Uh, still it is, uh, you know, creating the image. You can check that during the process time it might the cpu might hit so you have to wait for the cpu to cool down during the process sometimes not every time i never face any hang issue or something while creating but just for your information guys uh, our image is created uh, guys we can verify it so I already mentioned that our image will be tagged with this 5.1.1. Yes, here you can see the images is created 36 seconds ago. So let's spin the lab. I have already the YAML script. So you can verify the YAML script. Yes. So basically, uh, this is the SRL uh, image, and the second one is the uh, image. So sometimes when you use the script, so make sure that 
you are matching this vrxrv colon then this particular tag here also the path sometimes we uh, you know then the pre-existing script may be the uh, version may be different so make sure that your version in the ml script and the docker image is correct so let me quickly run it so if you guys already watching my video so it is like sudo con the command will be sudo container lab it's deploying then call the ml script yes guys so it's great the lab is creating the cisco xr and srl and this is the virtual wire it is creating so here you can see the process here and this is a subnet that it will be used for the management connectivity to the routers and this is ipv4 and this is the ipv6 and this is the mtu so it's running the post deploy action for an okay as linux once it is done then it will do for xrb yes it's created it and this is the container ids both and this is the ip address so we can quickly check so more docker ps we can use this command to check the uh, docker containers so here you can see that sr linux is up quickly because it takes only the few minutes uh, maybe a minute it will take but in terms of the uh, XRV it will take some time it will first check the health then uh, it has a script so it will check the health if the health is fine then we'll be able to log in otherwise it will show you unhealthy so like in my experience while uh, you know exploring this lab so I identify this unhealthy will happen only when we have the low RAM or low CPU so make sure you have the enough CPU and enough RAM is allocated to the uh, VM machine on your laptop so let me execute and see if it is coming in. so you can see unhealthy but it will sometimes it will come healthy yeah, it took almost five minutes for the health check and now our uh, docker is up docker container is up for the xrv so let's quickly log in ssh but 70.20.20.2 so it's asking for the key the save key the key yes yes here you guys can see them right so now the image is up and we are good so this is the uh, you know video like it has explained everything how to do from the scratch i hope you guys enjoy watching this video and it will be helpful for you to you know do the same kind of setup and explore it and thanks everyone for watching again please subscribe and do like hit button and comment and share it with your friends thank you everyone for watching